If you love Jesus, move Apostolic like Sunday School. Now I know that this particular object lesson will not be for everyone. It's a bit dangerous if you're not very careful, but it was really cool. And of course, as many of our object lessons do, it involved fire. Um, this one's called the Rubens Tube Experiment. If you look it up online, Rubens Tube, R-U-B-E-N-S Tube. Uh, I'll give you the explanation of the experiment and then what we did for the uh, spiritual application. Basically, it's a tube with holes drilled along the top. Every half inch, uh, there is a, a 1 16th hole drilled. On one end of the pipe, you have feeding into it propane. And uh, as far as getting that uh, all nice and leak proof, it took some work. Uh, I had to order a uh, propane uh, adapter that would grow onto a propane tank. And then the other end, I actually cut off and put uh, a tube fitting from Home Depot on that so i got it to work that way uh, then i on the other end you put a speaker that fits the diameter of the pipe i used a two inch diameter pipe and a two inch diameter speaker it fit in almost perfectly there was no leaks whatsoever uh, and then you play music through it uh, i guess i left that a little point you turn the propane on you light the flame you have an even row of flames across the top and then you play music through the speaker and it's magic. The sound makes the flames dance, it's so cool. If you do a tone, you can actually see the waveform in the flame and you can play with it. And notice the upper frequencies uh, in the 400 to 700 range work the best, at least on mine. Uh, there was some stuff I had to do to play with it. As far as on the speaker end, you wanna remove the speaker from the nearest hole by about a solid foot and a half if you can. I had mine too close and actually the puff of air coming out of the speaker was causing it to flame up too much near the speaker. And I also put a membrane, which in this case was just a balloon. I put a balloon over the pipe and then uh, connected the pipe again. It's what they say to do anyway. I didn't notice a whole lot of difference with that uh, as much as I did just getting it away from the holes. Uh, but it's an amazing experiment. It's so cool. You can play soft music and it gently dances. You can play like, well, I didn't use anything crazy obviously, but with percussion like a boom boom and it, the flames shoot three or four feet in the air as you, you'll see in the, the clip that follows. Um, it's a really amazing experiment. You gotta play with it. Uh, if, that, if you're so inclined, but we did have a trained firefighter uh, just we happen to have one in the church with a fire extinguisher on hand just in case disaster struck, which it didn't. Everything went perfect. Uh, the spiritual application is the fire is the Holy Ghost. And you want to feed the Holy Ghost the correct things. You want to take care of Jesus that's living inside of you. And uh, some people, once they get the Holy Ghost, they basically think they're saved forever and they don't even try to take care of it. We talked about how repentance, you're cleaning your heart out, you make this house for Jesus, you clean it out and he moves in. And then if you start moving in trash and garbage, sometimes he can move out and you don't even know he's gone. Uh, so we talked about that and, and how you wanna feed the right things, you wanna listen to the right things. So we played, uh, you know, the tones so they could see the effect. And then I played soft music and I played that powerful music. And, and if you play it loud enough, it'll actually put the fire completely out, which is pretty cool. Um, but at the end, the end, we had some soft music playing while we talked. And the fire is gently dancing. Then you turn the propane down a little more and a little more and it's pitch black and the flame goes out. And you can talk about, imagine if you never even knew that the Holy Ghost had left. And it's a very somber ending. You don't have to end it that way, but that's how we did it. And there really was a pretty powerful uh, presence there when we were done. So uh, try it out. Again, it may not be for everyone, but hopefully it's something you can use. Rubens Tube Experiment. Look it up online. If you have any questions, you can email me at info at apostolicsundayschool.com. Hopefully we can help. All right. Thanks so much. The Holy Ghost. You see this little guy here? Yeah. Just enjoy. Doesn't he look like he just got the Holy Ghost? Doesn't he look happy? He does.
In fact, the Bible says on the day of Pentecost, they were all in one accord. They were in one place, and they, a rushing mighty wind came in, and something happened. Joy, what was it? Did you hear that? Cloven tongue, like fire, set upon death. Yeah, Cloven tongue, the fire on the I do too. Now, when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, there's something you have to do. It's called repentance. Does anybody know what repentance is? It's telling God you're sorry. Repentance is cleaning your heart out of all the junk. Because Jesus wants to come and live inside you, but he's not going to come in to a dirty, nasty place. Here, here's a question. If you were looking for a new house, would you look for a house that's full of garbage and trash? Or joy, would you try to look for a house? It's got to be on fire. That's why repentance, you clean your heart out. And you're all clean and nice so Jesus can come and live in your heart. But, imagine this. You move into your house. This beautiful, clean house that someone got just perfect for you. And joy, you move in, you're happy. Well, in that house, someone decides to move a big, nasty trash dumpster full of rotten vegetables in your living room. What, what would you do with it? You would do what? You would probably throw up, right? You would probably throw up and then get as far away from it as possible. You'd probably move into another room. Well, what if in that room they put a big, stinky, dead dog? Would you want to stay there, Joy? No! What about in the last room, your last place of refuge, your garage? You were out there hiding, and someone put like a bunch of rats that had like, 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 just got yourself all over there, just running around your feet. Would you want to stay in there? No! Here's the question. Do you think when you get the Holy Ghost that you're saved forever? That's a question. Think about this. When you get the Holy Ghost, when you speak in tongues, there's a lot of this that happens. Do you think from then on nothing you do matters? Do you think it's okay to go and just, I'm going to get crazy here, say you go and just kill someone. And then you can go to heaven the next day. Ta-da! Of course not. Do you think you could lie? Or say cuss words and still be saved? Of course not. But there's always the chance to But today we're going to talk about how the things you see affect you. The things you hear affect you. The things you do affect you. Now listen, you guys have, when you have a Holy Ghost, you have Jesus living inside you. Do you think it's important to take care of the Holy Ghost? Now I want you to think about this. Every time you watch something, you shouldn't be watching. You think Jesus is in there covering his eyes going, I cannot believe it. You see it? You see it? But maybe it doesn't really matter what I listen to. Maybe the things I do don't matter. Maybe God doesn't care. You guys think about here? Now listen, I need absolute quiet. You need to hear what's happening. I'm going to put something into this fire. All that is is a sound. It's a noise. But maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the sound doesn't matter. Listen. You think it matters? Now, we're going to try something else. You guys see that? The sound is in it. Now, let's listen to some music and see how that affects the Holy Ghost. Are you guys ready for this? Listen. So the music you listen to affects the whole. What if you listen to something that's maybe not pleasing to the Holy Ghost? Now I would never play anything like that in Sunday school. I want you to listen real close. You guys ready? Yeah. 
Because I'm telling you, some people, the Holy Ghost isn't even alive inside of them anymore. Now they can rekindle it easily enough just by praying. So is there anybody here that wants another touch of God? Is there anybody here that has never got the Holy Ghost that says, Today, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to give my heart to God and I want to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If that's what you want, I want you to listen very intently because Brother Justin Muhammad is going to come up right now and talk to us. 